it'll be important to write down the, the start place and the finish place um, for each of our trails. Uh, and then some kind of just connection to more satellites. So like you could wait, you could just stay in the city. <laughs> 40 degrees north of the equator. <laughs> on the top left is the symbol that it'll use. So on this, right now on this unit, it's a little fish. It's a fish. Uh, I can see it. <laughs> yeah. A free so computer program that enables users to create maps over a base map of the world. I'm going to say Google Earth. Got it. Oh. Hey. Um, create a Word document and then you want to change it to a PDF. A system of satellites and towers that enables a user to determine locations with good accuracy. That is um, GPS. Yep. Wow. All right. So the way a GPS unit works is uh, each of these little receivers is communicating with satellites that are floating above us somewhere. We're going to be using these technologies to help us translate what we know into something that they will recognize and see and put on their maps. People don't think, you know, history counts anymore. Or I've heard a lot of people say that, like, oh, history, um, you know, I don't care what happened in the past. It's all about today. It's all about right now. And like, no, it's just, you know, history has a lot to do with the way things are today. Some of the early ethnographers from the stories from the Winnemum, they plotted the villages. And, and this was like before GPS, right? So it's walking the river. It's, it's showing when they were surveying where these things were located. And many of these villages are under the lake now. And so the Forest Service or the government has effectively taken us off the map. In the, the struggle that we have now, we have to get back on the map. We have to get back in the public view to say, this territory is Winnemum. So mapping, I think, is going to be a, a, a very useful tool in the future for the protection of these sacred sites and for your own knowledge. Because a long time ago, you know, the, this map of the traditional territory would have been walked by most of you young guys, for sure. You would have been runners up and down the river. You would have been, you would have been carrying messages back and forth. You know, CC, and then the description is Clear Lake or whatever, um, whatever will explain to you exactly what that site was. Um, that's really important at records. We have to figure out how to keep it safe, how to keep it within, at the same time, decide what can be shared and how it should be shared. All right? All right, gonna get back on the map, that's all. Um, and then, is this the McLeod? Or yeah, is the, the, this, this is the McLeod? Yeah, this is the Okay, so our points are hopefully gonna show up along there. And you can mark waypoints along the way. If I'm walking around the pond and I want to mark each tree, um, then I can just start, when I start the walk around the pond, and each time I get to a tree, I can create a waypoint. <laughs> so, how do I do it first? Menu? Menu? Menu again. Put, you gotta push it twice. You gotta mark. You gotta know these things. Understand. Can you believe Grams came down here? Like this right here would be a perfect fire stick spindle. It's way straight and it's a, a, a younger growth. This is Samwell Cave. This is one of the power places that 
will be affected by the lake because the cave goes all the way down to below Eagle Rock. And so when the lake fills up, so will the cave fill up. And that's disturbing our spirit beings. Even though we're not be being able to get down in there anymore, the spirit beings are still here. So it bothers us that, you know, they would raise the water over, over things down that they don't even know about. Don't fall on me. Yeah. This is Klut um, Zone, which is Eagle Rock. Because of the eagle is, is one of the healers, one of the ones that takes our prayers as high as they can go, that um, you can come here when you want to know something or you feel um, that something's missing out of what, you, what you're thinking about. You can come here and, and be right here and, and then that eagle spirit comes out and helps you. You can see it up and down the river. So a lot of people, you know, you can pray to it from wherever you see it. Like when we pass by and we're looking over here, you can say that prayer then too. Just being here with it. Maybe the young people can figure out how the mapping can be used to claim their traditional rights on that traditional cultural property. Even though we don't own it nowadays, we still own it in a traditional sense. It's still ours. That land is what makes us distinctively Winnemum.